Among Excel's many data analysis tools is a feature called Goal Seek. The term almost defines itself. Have you ever gotten a formula that's giving you a result that you don't want? Sounds kind of fanciful. Sometimes you want to work backward and provide a different answer. We're going to see two small examples and then a larger one in this particular worksheet that's called Goal Seek. In cell M5 is a formula using the function PMT, widely used in mortgage and lending. It allows us to calculate the monthly payment on a loan. In the particular example here, perhaps someone is about to buy a car and is considering borrowing $24,000, a term of 60 months, a rate of 3.625, 3 and 5 eighths percent. This function, PMT, calculates the monthly payment. It's coming up with $438. Now, we could look at this from maybe two different perspectives. One might be, well, we were thinking all along we would like to spend $500. Goal Seek will allow us to quickly come up with a $500 answer, but it's going to prompt us and ask us which of the dependent cells here, namely one of these three, do we want to change? So let's say that we don't have a whole lot of control over the rate, and we want to keep it at 60 months maybe, but we do want to see if we can borrow more or maybe borrow less if we want this number to be a lower number. Let's start with the idea that we might want this answer to be 500. So select the cell in question, and then in the ribbon, go to the Data tab and choose What If Analysis. Click the drop arrow. Choose Goal Seek. The Goal Seek dialog box asks us to set a particular cell, in this case M5, to a certain value. We're going to set it to be 500. By changing one other cell, we could choose any of the three cells above it, but in this case, how about the principal? We'll choose that. Click OK. There's our answer. If we want to keep that, we'll click OK. If we want to cancel it, we'll click Cancel. So we can borrow more money. We can borrow up to 27400 If we wanted to reduce this payment to 400 and we focused on principal, of course, it would have gone below the previous number. So if we want to keep it, fine, click OK. That number, by the way, isn't exact. If you click it, look in the formula bar, you'll see that it's not quite exact, but we won't worry about the pennies there. Another example, just below this, you're taking a course somewhere you're taking tests, they're using the old 100% grading system. Right now, averaging up these cells here, including the empty one, by the way, the average function in Excel adds up the cells, and right now it's dividing by six. As soon as we put in another number, it will take the total and divide by seven. So to get an A in this course, we need to have a 90 average. So what score does this need to be? this test score. We want Goal Seek to make this value be 90 by changing this cell. Click here. What if analysis on the data tab? Choose Goal Seek. We want this cell here to be equal to the value of 90 by changing which cell? The one right here. Click OK. Strange enough, this seems to take longer. And we finally come up with an answer that maybe isn't satisfactory. We've got to get 102 on this test. So let's cancel this. Well, maybe if we get 89.5, we'll get our A. So let's consider this all over again. We'll choose what if analysis, goal seek. And this time we'll set this value to be equal 89.5. By changing which cell, the same one as before, cell M13 right here. Click OK. And we come up with our new answer. So we're going to have to do pretty well on that final test if we hope to get this score or if this is going to give us an A. Now, we can use this in more powerful ways. And as we look into this one, you might think, based on how long it took this last calculation, gee, the next one really might take a long time. In column H are a whole set of new salaries. We've got about 700 of them here. Column F represents the old salaries. Every one of these salaries here is based on using a 2.8% increase. Every formula has a reference to that cell. Now, you're the chief financial officer of this organization, 
And in prior planning, you had allocated, let's say, $39 million for salaries next year. These numbers are right now are adding up to $38,927,000. So let's just make this be $39 million. In other words, we want the total of all those entries in column H to be $39 million. Let's use Goal Seek to change this result based on this cell allowing to be changed. We go to cell J1. Once again, what if analysis, Goal Seek, set this cell to be equal to 39000000. By changing which cell, the percent cell below it. So how long is this going to take? Click OK. It's done. There it is. Quite a bit faster than you would have thought based on our previous example, but all of those salaries have been altered. We now have our 39 million total, and here's the percent of increase. Here too, by the way, if we choose OK and keep the result, that's not exactly 3%, but it's pretty close if you look in the formula bar. So you can see different ways of using this feature to come up with a different answer. It's called Goal Seek, and it's found on the Data tab in the ribbon under What If Analysis.